The true power of large language models is starting to be discovered. Their ability to take natural language inputs and make decisions on how to interact with external tools like databases to perform tasks. But which models work best as agents? The researchers in this paper are exploring how a type of agentic querying, function calling, is moving beyond traditional methods. They've done a comprehensive analysis of loads of different models and even created a new dataset to test them. We'll get to the results in a second, but first let's talk about something else they proposed to even the playing fields. Traditionally, if you wanted advanced database querying with an AI model, you'd probably try text to SQL. The model takes a natural language question and translates it into a SQL query, but this approach has a couple of problems. SQL dialects can vary across databases and the models can also struggle with real world complexities like filtering and aggregation and search. This paper proposes a different approach, function calling. Instead of generating raw SQL, the LLM structures its queries using predefined function calls in a JSON format with optional arguments for search, filters, aggregation, and grouping. In a full system, it would look something like this. A query comes in from the user and is passed to our LLM. Based on the user's input, the LLM outputs JSON that can be used to query the database. Everything from what text to use, whether it's an aggregation or search query, and additional arguments like filters or grouping. The LLM passes that to the search system, which then performs the search and returns the results. So let's take a look at an example. A user asks how many menu items are priced under $20. In a function calling setup, the model would generate something like this. This method solves a major issue in text to sql adaptability. With this JSON structure, there's no need for the model to understand SQL syntax or specific database structures, and it can be translated to any other querying language. The same logic applies to more complex queries like aggregations or filtering across multiple properties. But can models even create advanced queries like this? For example, the query, what is the average price of seasonal specialty menu items under $20 grouped by whether they are vegetarian or not, requires a combination of a search query for seasonal specialties, a price filter, aggregation to compute the average price and a group by operation to categorize results by vegetarian status. So to evaluate whether models could handle these types of advanced queries, the researchers created DB Gorilla. This dataset includes five distinct use cases, each with three collections like restaurants, menus, and reservations, 315 test queries covering different combinations of filters, search, aggregation, and grouping, and a synthetic database schema designed to test real world use cases. Using this dataset, the study tested eight different LLMs from five different families. The best performing models were Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-40 Mini, GPT-40, and Gemini 1.5 Pro. These models successfully created and formatted structured queries with high accuracy. Lower performing models like Gemini 2.0 Flash and Llama 3.1 A Billion struggled a lot more with getting all parts of the query correct. Another key finding was schema adaptability. GPT-40 demonstrated the most consistent performance across different database schemas, while smaller models showed significant variance. One major issue observed was that some models completely skip function calls when they shouldn't have. Gemini 2.0 Flash, for example, failed to issue queries 54% of the time, which significantly lowered the performance. Knowing the best models and having a language agnostic way of querying databases is going to allow us to kick off a lot more advanced agentic apps. We still have a ways to go until they can be completely autonomous assistants. However, these sorts of purpose-built agents are going to be the next big bang of AI applications, and I'm so excited to see what will happen next. Till the next one, and as always, all the resources are linked in the description.